this meeting is being recorded. No, but how do I, sorry, how do I get rid of this line across the middle? I just leave it for a while, it'll go away. Oh, yes, it's gone, it's gone. At the start of the pandemic, uh, to help with the shortage... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Don't worry about this camera. <laughs> okay, so that's the one. That's the one you're talking to, yeah. But it is Bob me, girl. Bob me. <laughs> Lucky. Emerald dress okay. <gasps> Gabriella, what is that picture? Is that a it's sloth? a baby sloth. Oh, man. <laughs> Love those guys. They're really good climbers. What's better than speech day? Chemistry. Yes. Good answer. <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? You guys, it's so nice to see You're everyone. Welcome. These are my girls. These are the students that I teach. Yeah. Oh. Okay, doke. Um, let's do some learning then. Hey guys. Ja, kannst du bitte einmal vorlesen? Wie ist das Wetter in England, Cecily? Kannst du das lesen? Can you read it to us, please? Es ist sonnig im Norden. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go through the practical. I'll let you see me. And this is endothermic and exothermic reactions. Okay, can you now see the table? Not the whole table, just like okay. a bit. If you just lift it up a little bit. Is that okay? A bit more. A little bit more. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's fine. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> last to work out the delta H value. That is the enthalpy change per mole of limiting reagent. Now girls, I just want to check, is everybody okay with the calculation so far? Or is there anything that you need to ask me? Can I ask a quick question? Yes. So this lady writing to Martha, this is, is this of her own accord? This is just her noticing things and realizing, hmm, this is not, <laughs> Stalin wouldn't be happy with this, please step up. Or is this kind of like a, like a, the state told me to send this letter to you, yeah, this kind is, of like a first warning. This is where we need to go. Genius, you're absolutely on the right track. I think it's difficult to like, on like, to know what news is fake and what like, what news is like manipulating the science to fit what the article wants to show and not. Mm. Yeah. Hi, my name is Tammy Bishop. Um, I was at Cheltenham Ladies College uh, from '88 to '95, and I'm a scientist working at the University of Oxford. And we're here, and we receive funding, and we're here to research potential antivirals for the treatment of COVID. Hi, my name is Simriddi, current SSC1 student. And during the lockdown, to help out the community, I've been volunteering at a food distribution centre, making PPE for NHS workers, and offering free singing and piano lessons to the local children. Great, now don't lose that really lovely open sound that you had earlier with the R. So just drop the jaw, just relax, because. Um, even though we're going a bit higher, you're going to make it so much easier for yourself if you exactly just like that, if you keep it a bit more open. Okay, so um, we were here. Great, well done. I am Pui, a current LC3 student. My brother and I have been working on a cupboard called Duruam Dai. Here it is in our first location. We also designed two characters called Ban Suk, which translates to giving happiness, and Ban Yan, to give in work. People can donate and collect goods like food and day-to-day -day necessities, with the modification of people being able to advertise their skill sets to find possible jobs locally. Businesses can also pose local jobs as this is a long-term solution to help people get through this pandemic. Hi, I'm Tilly, I'm a current UC4, and during quarantine, I've been making scrubs for the NHS. Early on in the pandemic, um, in EET, we started producing face shields just like this to help with the shortage of PPE. We donated these to the Gloucestershire NHS Trust, to local care homes and GP surgeries. Since then, we've still been making these to supplement our stock of PPE in anticipation of college opening next term. Hi, my name's Tallulah and I'm in SSC1. Whilst we've been in lockdown, Lexi and I have started an initiative called Sew a Smile, with the aim being to spread as much happiness around the country as possible through the growing and gifting of sunflowers. In the past three months, over 3,000 seeds have been planted and distributed in 27 counties across the UK, with the hope of bringing joy to as many communities as possible during this difficult time. I have a career in um, technology and cybersecurity. 
you know, is this is this a sort of industry where there's a a bit of a criteria for people who work there, or is it something that takes people from all fields of life? If you do um, sort of sciences, or if you're mm-hmm. someone who does humanities, is this something that you can do no matter what it is you specialize in? Uh, I would say yes. We're really lucky today to have Annalee Howard and Laura Beaumont with us. It's really kind of them to give up their time um, uh, to talk to you. I think Laura is going to start by um, telling you a bit about her sort of route to law and then Annalee is going to do the same. So Rachel offered her time to come and talk to us about her experience at studying uh, medicine at Imperial College. Right, so my name's Maria. I'm a second year DPhil or PhD student at the University of Oxford. And I just wanted to to, to introduce you briefly to my uh, career and how I got to be a PhD student. Hi, my name is Maro. I go to the University of Cambridge. I do HSPS. So that's basically like all the humanities, so politics, IR, anthropology, sociology. And then finally, I just wanted to say, hold tightly to all the qualities that CRC has instilled in you um, that curiosity, that determination, ambition, but also that desire to do good. So, um, as Rosie, Rosie said, like get involved in volunteering, um, you know, make your contribution to university life as well. And I don't think you can go far wrong. And, uh, and if I tell them about my university experiences, it's 20 years ago, so it has no relevance to reality at all. So uh, sure they'd much rather hear it from you. So thank you very much. Just say a thank you to all of you too, because somebody who went to university in a different age has been really insightful for me. And you are all inspirational at CLC, and you still are. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, we are CLC girls, and we are a community who under any challenges, we just reinvent ourselves. You know, we all in this most bizarre times, girls, but it doesn't matter, we're still getting on. Oh, but it's okay because we're gonna get through it. And how you've pushed the family group thing as well. We are in a very healthy place, thanks to where you are. Your posts on Teams have kept me going, and grades don't know that you're kind, trustworthy, and thoughtful, and every day you try to be your best self. And that some of you get away with wearing non-regulation uniform, and <laughs> trainers disguised as shoes, and multiple earrings. Oh, Madeline. All right, sweetie, have a nice... Oh, yeah, OK. Yeah, oh, you've got lessons, Bye. haven't you? Bye. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to the Princess Hall. Who would have thought that the lower college celebration of sport would have such a vacant hall? And Anna, you rode the Atlantic with your brother. So it took my brother and I 43 days, 22 minutes, 15 hours um, to get across the Atlantic Ocean. The majority of getting us to the other side was what's up here. and. The toughest times you really had to push yourself through those boundaries. Is 2.5 the intensity of Y? So that's comparing the number, the magnitude number, with the physics measurement. and welcome to Library Music, um, The Garden Party. My favourite one to leave you with, same one, the words are fluffy puppies. See if you can do this one. Fluffy puppies, 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 fluffy puppies. Your turn. Hey guys! Hey guys! Hey guys! Wonderful. Welcome to Committee Prize 2020. Hi there, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to my wonderful tutor, Mrs. Hall, and my wonderful housemistress, Miss Brandon, for keeping me in the loop and keeping me sane um, and checking in with me all the time to make sure I'm doing okay. It's really, really appreciated. And yeah, it's just reminded me how lucky I really am. So a big thank you so many teachers i'm just so thankful to all of you honestly like i wouldn't be the same person i am right now without all of your love dedication support help like you guys are the best thank you thank you for all that you're doing in these really strange times that we're in we'd like to thank miss constantine for being a really good physics teacher and making our physics lessons really fun thank you 
Hello, I'd like to thank all my teachers for being such amazing people and helping us sort of maintain um, a working environment despite all the crazy circumstances that we're in. Thank you and we really appreciate all that you do for us.